Camera still work? We're here. We're back. <laughs> yeah. We've been gone for quite a long time. Yeah, we've been busy. Haven't been able to do anything. And I don't know about you guys, but it's been cloudy for most of this freaking summer. It's been cloudier than I think it's ever been. So we've only been able to go out a couple of times. But this right here, the binoculars, are by far the most popular video that we have. And you guys have the most questions about because... It's the cheapest thing to get into. You can take it anywhere. Fits right on a tripod in your backpack. Take it everywhere. It's cheap. You can see a ton of things. And in this video, we're going to give them how many things to see? Ten. Ten top things you can see with the binoculars. And this is, we're going to start from the closest, starting at the moon, and we're going to go clear out to the very furthest one away. And how far away is that? Don't tell them what it is, but how far away is it? This is the only hint. It is 23 million light years away. 23 million light years away. So stick around for number 10 to figure out what that is and you can actually see it with these binoculars. So let's go ahead and jump on in. All right guys, and one thing before we jump in, we're gonna put pictures with everything that we're talking about and these images are copyright free images that we actually took and edited to the best of our ability to make it look exactly like what you're gonna see when you're using the binoculars. So the actual size might be a little bigger or smaller, but the quality of the image and what you're gonna see as far as colors and stuff like that, because when you first get into astronomy and you've seen all these cool images of the Whirlpool Galaxy uh, and all these nebulas and stuff that might look something like this, insert photo here, mm. it looks nothing like that in real life. So if, I mean, we don't wanna deter it, deter you from getting into it because that's not what you're gonna see, but when you actually see it, even in the black and white, it's still amazing to see because you're seeing it with your own eyes and it's really out there versus just seeing a picture that is amazing. But those are stacked images that take a long time. It's really complicated to get those images to look that good. But you would just, what do you think? You still, still amazing to see? Yeah, they are once you're really into astronomy. They do look pretty cool. Does it blow your mind when you see something that you're not expecting? Yeah, especially if you're not even looking for it. You yeah. just randomly see it. Yeah, kind of like we do a lot. We'll just go outside and just start scanning the sky. We're not really looking for anything in particular. And that's oftentimes when you can find something just pretty cool because you're not expecting it. So we just want to throw that in there. So we'll be posting the pictures of what each thing looks like, roughly what you're going to see with the binoculars. So yeah. let's get into number one. What's number one? All right, so number one, we're going from the closest to furthest away, just so you know. All right. Closest and furthest from the Earth? Yes. Okay. All right. So number one is the moon. It is 238,900 miles away from Earth. It's pretty far. Yeah. So the moon seems like it's just a pretty common thing. You go look outside, you see the moon, big whoop de doo When you actually try it with a pair of binoculars, like these ones right here, be prepared. You can honestly put on your sunglasses before you look at it because when you look at it through the binoculars, it's like looking at a light bulb. It becomes super bright, and that's something you're not really going to be anticipating when you go to look at it. Yeah. And when you look at it and it's like, eyes are burning, uh -huh. can't even look at it for that long. But what's the detail like? It, the detail is so amazing once you look at it with even telescopes or binoculars. It's, the detail is still really, really good. Yeah, so you can see like the shadows really good. You can see the craters pretty well. Um, honestly, it's pretty amazing to look at. Words can't really describe it, but even with being the closest thing that you've seen all the time, it's really cool to look at. Moving on to number two. Number two is Jupiter. It is 483.6 million miles away from Earth. A little bit of a drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think when you saw Jupiter for the first time? Uh, it looks pretty good. You can see like the stripes and then the colors, kind of. You can see those pretty well. Mm-hmm from what I would expect to see, because I thought I wouldn't really be able to see that much, when really, I saw quite a bit of it. Yeah, 
And also, the main thing that caught my attention about Jupiter is you can actually see up to four, sometimes five of its moons that are actually going around it. So that's something that we weren't really anticipating the first time we looked through it, is being actually being able to see the moons. Because it's so bright that sometimes it's kind of hard to see the detail on it, but you can definitely see the moons around it, and I think that's probably the coolest part to me. Yeah. But you can actually see it pretty well. Number three is Saturn. It is 849.66 million miles away. And that's like double the amount of, of Jupiter. Double of Jupiter far away? Yeah. And how, do, how well do you see it? So when I saw it, it was pretty, really good. You could see its rings and the gap between the planet itself and the rings. And you can also see some of its stripes and a little bit of its color, mm -hmm. and it was pretty cool. Yeah, and you can even see if it, you, you need to get a tripod. If you guys, we haven't covered that already, but for these binoculars, definitely want to get a tripod to hold it so it holds it steady. We'll have the links to what we use in the description. Let's move on to number four. Uh, yeah, number, number four. four. So number four is called Alberio, and it's actually a double star. Double star, yep. Mm -hmm. And it is 433.6 light years away from Earth. So... We're getting far away. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the cool thing about Alberio? Is that both of the s double stars, both the stars are completely different colors. Yeah. One of them is like an orange gold, and the other is like a light blue. Yep. And that's kind of, you're not going to see a lot of colors in the sky with the binoculars. There's, there's a couple things out there that you'll see, rainbow colors and flashes and like hues and stuff. But as far as colors go, that they're kind of rare to see with binoculars. But this is one of the things that actually have color. Mm -hmm. So even, even though it's just two different colored stars next to each other, it's still pretty cool to see just because of the color of them. Yeah. So, definitely a recommend. Right, moving on to number five. All right, number five is called Pleiades, and another a nickname for it is the Seven Sisters mm -hmm. in Greek mythology, and it is 444.2 light years away. So that's not really that much of a distance from Alberio. Mm -hmm, pretty close. Yeah. And the cool thing that I think, I came across seeing the Seven Sisters kind of on accident. I wasn't really looking for it, but if when it is up in the sky, when it's your, the time of year that it's above you, you can actually see it without binoculars at all. It kind of looks like a little pitchfork, I guess is what how I would describe it. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely tell it looks like a little patch of bright stars. So if you can see it with your eye just a little bit, when you use the binoculars, it's like, boom, whole new world out there. Uh -huh. So it's really cool to look at. So it looks like there's a bunch, how many do you think you can see with your, with just the naked eye when you're looking at like four of the stars, five of the stars? Yeah. But when you put the binoculars on and you see them all next to each other, it's, it's a pretty cool star cluster. Yeah. Alright, now we're moving on to number six. Number six. <laughs> All right, so number six is called the Orion Nebula. Orion Nebula. It is 1,344 light years away from Earth. Wow. We're getting uh, way yeah, further we're, away. Yeah, we're leaving home. Definitely. I'd have to say Orion's probably one of my favorite to look at. It's This image was the hardest one to edit to get it to look what it looks like in real life. And I think that even in the image that we edited that you're looking at right now, it's actually better looking in real life than the image that we have edited. I think it actually looks a little bit, it looks cooler. I don't know how else to describe it, but it just looks better through the binoculars than what the image that you're seeing looks like. But it's pretty accurate as far as like colors, but as far as like actual like brightness, it just looks cooler in real life. That's pretty much all I can say, but I think that's one of my favorites to look at. Yeah. Especially if you're like, if you want to show somebody that's never looked in the sky before and you show them that with binoculars, they will be amazed. Hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Things in the sky can be pretty cool to look at. Yep. Alright, now we're going on to number seven. Number seven. Right. Number seven is called the Wild Duck Star Cluster. The 
wild it is 6,197 light years away. Wow. And the cluster means it's like millions of stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's pretty cool to see. Um, kind of looks like a little explosion of stars in the sky. It's the best mm -hmm. way to describe it. So um, it's basically like you just went around in space and you just grabbed all the stars and they just sat them all together mm -hmm. and then. It's a star cluster, but it is pretty cool to see, just thinking about what could be in all those stars. And Number eight is the Hercules star cluster, and it is 22,180 light years away. That is a pretty <laughs> long drive there. Yeah, that's pretty far away. So this was probably, the Hercules star cluster was the first star cluster that we actually ever saw. Yeah. So that was the first one that we ever saw, so we were excited to see um, if we could see it with the binoculars, which you can. Um, we edited this photo to make it look as close as you as it looks like in real life. Um, depending on where you are, how dark your skies are, we're actually in Utah where it's really dark skies, so we, we can see things quite well with the binoculars, but uh, it's definitely crazy to see because when you're you're scanning through the sky and you're just used to seeing all the little stars and stuff and then you see this explosion mm -hmm. of stars just in the middle of nowhere yeah it's pretty amazing yeah and like the stars are like evenly apart like a literal explosion mm -hmm. so now we're moving on to number nine this one's your favorite isn't it uh yeah this, this is his favorite this is my favorite it is the andromeda galaxy it is 2.537 million light years away. Wow. That light's been coming here for a cool minute. Uh huh. So why is it your favorite? Because when you look at it through the binoculars, you could like literally see it. Yeah, well, for how far away it is and being another galaxy, being able to see it with binoculars, I think the hardest part is just finding it. That's the hardest part because it's kind of in a darker part of the sky. So it's kind of hard to find, but once you find it, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And if, again, if you think you're gonna look through the binoculars and you're gonna see this, you're not gonna see that. It's basically looks like a faint cloud. It's basically what it looks like with a little bit of a bright spot. And then you can kind of make out its shape a little bit. But for the most part, when you're looking for it, you're looking for basically like a little tiny smudge in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's not like super visible, but you can see it. All right, so moving on. To number 10, <laughs> the furthest one away. Right. You won't believe how far away this is, uh -huh. and you can still see it with binoculars. Uh -huh. What is it? Be prepared. All right. All right, number 10 is the Whirlpool Galaxy. How far away is it? It will blow your mind. It is 23.1 million light years away. And you could literally see it with binoculars. That is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. And I think it's probably one of the... I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's... You can see it pretty well, in mm -hmm. my opinion. You can see it pretty well. It's not like... I think you can see it better than Andromeda Galaxy. Mm -hmm. So it's... And then it has its second little... Uh, galaxy off to the side of it so you'll you'll know when you see it because there'll be a big one and a small one right next to it and you can see its little cloud going uh to each one mm -hmm. and it's just it's amazing to be able to see that like 23 million light years that is so going at the speed away. of light for 23 million point one years wow so that light that we're seeing is 23 million years old which one do you think is the best? Uh, probably the Andromeda Galaxy. Still going with Andromeda? Mm, I really like Andromeda. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to agree that is a cool one to see. Personally, I'm going to have to go with the Orion Nebula. Hmm. It just looks awesome. There's so much to see around it, and it's all condensed, and it just looks amazing. It looks like a whole... I mean, it is a whole other world, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it just looks amazing. So that would probably be my, my favorite. Yeah, pretty good choice. Yeah, so let us know what you think in the comments. Which one was your favorite? If you've seen any of these already, and which ones did we miss? What one should have made the list that you know that you can see? 
with these binoculars. If you have these and you've seen something cool that wasn't on this list, let us know what we need to go find. Yeah. Because we'll go find it and then we'll report back and do the best we can to let anyone else know what else you can see. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. So, see ya! See you guys! <laughs>